There we also Tom A. R. O. this thing once and for all. Oh, ha, ha. Alright, let's uh, take these neons here. I'll be needing those. They're uh, got a green one and a regular red coloured neon there. A white phosphor to make it light green. So we're going to take those wires off, snip those off. One there, there's another one in here. There you go, neons are out. Keep those. And just rewire it and we can start uh, having some fun. Okay, if you were sort of funny how to get how to get this wire through there, I've concluded if this is gonna get hot, this wire's gonna melt through and trip the breaker, so I'm gonna have to find a way of protecting this wire from getting burnt, so but they're hooked up the right way, how I want it to go. So let's try and find a way to stop this wire, you to protect this wire from getting melted. I managed to run the extra neutral wire through there. So one's got active and neutral already there. The other one had to run another wire to get the neutral on this other um, heading element. So I did a couple of pre-checks, make sure everything's good. So I'll start the multimeter here to uh, continuity. Start with earth. Yep, earth to active. No short. No leakage to earth. Heating elements aren't shorted, but they're not open either. Here we are, right, let's give this thing a test. Okay. No short to earth. It's good. No short there, no short there, no short there. All right, good to go. Let's pop this thing. Test time. I've got 31. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. My wires must have come disconnected somewhere. Shit, got to check that. Hmm. Can't do it in one piece, I'll just connect the wires to one element at a time and see what happens. Yeah, um, I think this is going to get so hot that this insulation is not going to hold up anyway. Just got to short it as soon as it melts. I think pulling it apart and connecting the wires directly like that and running them away from the element might be a better way of uh, doing it, I think. That way it gets a better chance to burn out. Yeah, also, it's heading, heating elements are okay. Turns out this crappy wiring has a break in it somewhere. That's why it wasn't working, so let's do it this way instead. I think it'd be safer because, yeah, that would have got hot. The original wiring, how it was already configured, would have um, melted through and tripped the RCL or breaker straight away. So I'll give it the best chance possible. So it's on the longest by elevating and protecting the wire from getting cooked. So heat bricks off earth, don't need to connect the earth when you're killing something. So safety first, we'll uh, do all our checks and we can plug this thing in and pop it. Safety checks have been done. What I've done, I put a heat brick above between that uh, garden as a barrier between the uh, heating element and that um, wiring so it doesn't melt. Earth's pointing up, everything's connected so we can kill it. Let's plug this thing in. Oh, I see how much in uh, yeah, the set of bears, but I'll just tell you 51. Oh, yeah, 20 amps. Yeah, it's pulling some current. Look at that BAZ fly, holy hell. Man, 20 amps constantly. I was expecting it to pull half the current, but it's not because it's uh, it double the voltage, half the um, power consumption, but obviously this is pulling more power. Hang on, turn it off, safety check, unplug safety first. Let's um, see if it actually is getting hot or if it's partially shorted. Oh yeah, it's getting hot. Yeah, it's getting hot there. It's pulling a bit more power than I anticipated. This might take a while to kill actually. I think I'm going to have to get myself a step up transformer from somewhere. Something doesn't pull as much on the, on the primary. Then 
again, again this summit, maybe it's not accurate. Here we go, it's getting red hot. Yeah, it's Edgar. Seven one hundred and eighty one point three hours. So I've used about I've used one hundred one hours so far. Mmm, that's one. Toasty sandwich press. That's 250 watt hours used. Uh, 150, sorry. 150 watt hours used so far. Mmm, it's not a Teflon burning off that thing. Approaching 200 watt hours now. Man, it's a tough one. Not bad effort for a 120 volt element. That's 200 watt hours used so far. Oh, power off. Oh, yeah. Damn. That's enough for now. I think I'm going to have to, um, Gee, I need stronger wiring. Yeah, I'll say the uh, little extension cord here, going from the shed of the caravan, is starting to get warm, so time to shut down. Yeah, I don't have to get any warmer than that. That's only a 10 amp cord. I'm going to have to upgrade that wire to a firearm to burn this thing out, so. Everything's unplugged. I just checked everything behind here is okay. Yep, everything behind here is okay. The wiring in here is really good wiring on the um, BAZ here. Yeah, I was just monitoring this as I was monitoring it. Started to get a bit warm, I shut off. So, 10 amp cord is obviously not liking this. I'm going to have to, um... Man, I wish I had a good uh, chance for it. It doesn't use as much in the primary, but I could have a heap of uh, amps and more volts in the secondary. That'd be good. Hmm. This thing is proving tougher than I bloody thought. Anyway, I think that's going to have to be enough for our viewers. Thanks for watching.